Hey, what's up? So I'm going to show you how to copy paste your gallery sims onto your in-game sims or in-game townies. So anytime you open up a new save file and you want to make all the townies look as good as they do in your, you know, legacy file or whatever file, first thing that you need to do is you need to save your good CC family and save them to the gallery under, you know, their name is helpful, but, um, if you have multiple versions, recently been putting a one in front of it. the families that I want to import into all my base games. So this is the one I'm going to be using. It's uh, an edited version of Codex's, who is Gunther Munch on Tumblr, and they have a really cool story thing going on. So you have that saved into your gallery. Then you're going to click on your sim, MC Command Center. Now you're going to go over to MC Cast. And there's this copy paste function, okay? And this is so you could copy this sim and you could then paste them onto somebody else. Say I copied the skin details. This may not be super obvious, but hopefully it will work. Enough to show you what I mean by this. So then we'd come over here, copy paste, paste skin details. And as you can see, he suddenly gained eyelashes. But of course, because the skin details have pasted. But of course, this sim over here doesn't actually have that many skin details because when I originally edited him, I didn't have a lot. So the other function of this, so you could copy one sim onto another sim, but the glory of this is paste tray sim. Now you can do any saved sims, only other sims only include tags. I usually just hit only my sims. I have a lot of sims that I have saved. So I have to go find Munch. Then I pick Gunther Munch. You can paste the name, which you don't necessarily need to, because I'm usually pasting, you know, like I'm pasting Gunther Munch onto Gunster, Gunther Munch. Although this can be very funny if you have a completely built sim living their life and then you suddenly paste somebody completely different onto them. It can end up really funny. I did that with Mrs. Hudson from Sherlock Holmes. I pasted her onto a random townie and then she... I had not realized that that random townie had a romance going on, so that was very, very interesting. You can do the personality if uh, your preferred version of that sim has specific traits. You can paste that. Then you can paste the gender options, uh, paste clothing. But the basic thing that you're going to be pasting is the face, the skin details, etc. So let's paste sim now. Now, as you notice, the sim instantly changed into the version of Gunther Munch that I personally have worked on that is based on, as I said, uh, the Tumblr user Gunther Munches. Um, obviously I don't own all of the same CC, so I had to, you know, make my own version, but there we go. That is the basic function. Now you could do this with townies, you can do this with random people. Anyway, another thing you can do with this, uh, feature, it's in a different location, so you open up, you go to MC Command, you go to Dresser now, copy paste. Now you could copy, let's say I want to copy his hair, copy his outfit, uh, copy makeup, and copy accessories. Now I have all of those copied, so now I could go over to this dude, MC Command, Dresser, copy paste, paste hair. Paste hair to all outfits. Now this can be super useful as a feature if like say you got the perfect makeup look in one outfit and you just want to paste it to all of them and you don't have to want to you don't want to reset it every single time and you have the same with accessories so like say you have accessories like your eyelashes are an accessory um, like Kajiko's eyelashes you know sometimes you can't use the skin details you have to use the accessory version. If you do that here say you know you wanted you could copy Gunther Munch's makeup like face makeup eyes right so he had contacts and I wanted them on all of them I could just copy the makeup and paste makeup to all outfits so that can be a really cool way of getting around you know just wasting a lot of time so as you can see he is now wearing Gunther Munch's makeup and hair oh I forgot to paste his outfit paste outfit there we go. Huzzah! Let's paste somebody onto you, just to see what happens. Paste Trace Sim, only my Sims. Okay, let's 
do somebody who ooh I could pay someone from my asylum challenge let's paste her because I don't remember what she looks like oh that one as you can see you can paste now I don't think so I think the original Diana McKellen and I did accidentally paste the name as well I do believe she was originally a vampire whereas I don't think this character has become a vampire let's and we can check this by going into occult commands remove disguise oh wow one thing that it this feature does not do well now something you can do is if you go into modify household you can copy one form onto the other form which can be really useful I'm pretty sure she's come across originally she was a vampire I thought but she might actually just be an alien I'm not entirely sure let's go find out anyway as you can see this feature is super useful super underrated I use it in all my save games oh she's an alien okay that I did not originally design her as an alien which means that the lady that I turned into that I pasted this onto was probably originally an alien now something that doesn't generally work very well with this pasting thing is that if you have an occult sim who has different forms so like a vampire or an alien as you can see in this case the alien form didn't paste there are ways you can kind of get around it but as you can see when I went in there there wasn't like a copy that maybe that is just for vampires I haven't actually tested but I couldn't copy the disguised form over to the non-disguised form and I'm pretty sure I've copy pasted Lucas over but let's just double check one last time click the sim go to MC command center go to MC cast copy paste paste tray sim I use only my sims because otherwise if I paste sims I get from the gallery I often get them a custom content and they've just got you know messed up faces so even if I use somebody from the gallery I'll usually go into create a sim create my own version and then save it so it's considered one of mine that way I know that all of the uh, custom content is correct hey I hadn't oh he's so much cuter now look at him look at his little face oh hello okay so that is it all right thank you very much for coming to watch this video I know it was much longer than it should have been but I think I showed several ways of using this feature like I said it is a underused feature like I said I've been giving makeovers to most of the base game townies this is my goth family I put it one goth I want to use like for all my base game families I want to put a one first so they show up first in the list so I don't have to go hunting for them the person I'm most proud of is Alexander goth <laughs> Uh, because I, I hate him in base game and he's turned into a snack I just I hate his face in base game I had to do some work on his nose and shit yeah and then I have all of my basic family people which I can paste onto townies if I don't like the townies this is a fun super useful feature I recommend everyone use it that way you only have to make over your sims once I only had to make over the land grabs once and they're pretty for all my games of course you do have to paste them on into all your games but you know it's way easier than redoing it every single time one last thing I should probably mention is that they will um, the reason that I started doing this is because I was going back to older save files and I wanted people to to maintain the same relationships be in the same clubs you know that I had already set up I didn't want to have to erase a sim and then put them in when relationships had already been established so this is a really good way of getting around that anything that the sim that you're pasting on knows your sim will know uh, the only thing you can really change is like personality but you don't actually have to do that it's an excellent feature I recommend and I hope you all have fun with it
Bye.